This walk on the street of Abuja seeks to raise awareness on the need to protect humanitarian workers in conflict zones. It's the 2017 World Humanitarian Day, and these officials from the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, the National Refugee Commission, and representatives from the paramilitary are determined to make their voices heard. They are aware of the worrying statistics of humanitarian workers who have been attacked in the course of doing their jobs. According to the United Nations, an estimated 1,368 humanitarian workers have been attacked globally between 2012 and 2015, with 386 of them reportedly killed. The total number of people affected by natural disasters was terrorist activities, ETC, has risen over the past decade. The trend, no doubt, has been on the increase due to current security challenges in the country. In 2016, a convoy of humanitarian workers was attacked in the northeast of Nigeria. More and more humanitarian workers are being confronted. They are and should not be the target of the attack. The figures of those aid workers attacked may have been less, but for the Boko Haram conflict in Nigeria's northeast since 2009, which has created one of the world's largest humanitarian crises. For the United Nations, the less crisis, the less attacks on aid workers. The only durable solutions for this crisis is for people to return back to their homes, for people to start rebuilding their lives. Any continuation of humanitarian assistance is not going to help them. So again, I call on the government of Nigeria to continue investing in this crisis and work towards a durable solution. For almost eight years, internally displaced persons have relied heavily on humanitarian workers who have partnered with governments to provide succor for the tens of thousands of men, women and children traumatized by the activities of the insurgents.